we'll just take one last question before we end the session assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my name is aimani i am a student from montreal canada but originally from morocco i am a student 15 years old and i am a real big fan of you every day i pray for you man jazakallah shukran may allah protect you amen my question is about haircuts what haircut is haram what is halal and are we allowed to keep hair very long thanks for answering love you jazakallah khairan may allah grant you jannah amen the brother asked that what kinds of haircut is haram and what is permissible can you keep long hair there are several hadith which clearly mentions that do not imitate the kuffar so if your haircut is imitating the haircut of the kafir of the unbelievers or the evil doers or the women this type of haircut is haram so in short those haircut which imitate the kuffar the unbelievers it's haram those haircut which imitate the evil doers it's haram and those haircut which imitate the opposite gender that is of the female it's haram so in short for guidelines any haircut which imitate the kuffar and the haircut of the evil doers or of the opposite gender that is women is haram regarding those haircut which are makru it is qaza as a hadith of the blessed prophet it's mentioned in sahih bukhari volume number 7 hadith number 5920 that ibn umar may allah be pleased with him said that the prophet forbade qaza ubaidullah asked what is qaza nafi replies a boy whose hair has been shaved but has tuft of hair here and a tuft of hair there a similar hadith is repeated in sahih bukhari volume number 7 hadith number 5921 where um uh, uh, Ibn Umar may Allah be pleased him says that the prophet forbade qaza and bracket it says qaza means a tuft of hair here and a tuft of hair there of a boy whose head have been shaved there's another hadith in sahih muslim volume number 5 hadith number 5559 where ibn umar may Allah be pleased with him says that the prophet forbade qaza and ibn umar asks nafi what is qaza nafi replies that when a person whose head has been shaved partly and head which has not been shaved partly that is qaza it's also mentioned hadith of abu daud of sunan abu daud volume number 4 hadith number 4195 that once the prophet saw a boy whose head has been partly shaved and partly uncut so the prophet told him either you shave your head completely or keep the hair completely so based on all these hadith the fuqaha they say that this type of haircut qaza they are makru and ibn qayyim he gives details of variety of qaza variety of types of qaza and he said that the worst is when the head is shaved from the sides and the center is kept the other type is when the head is shaved from the center and the sides are kept when this question was asked to shaykh ibn taymi he says the qaza is of different types and he says that shaving of the first type is shaving the head partly from the left partly from the right partly from the front partly from the back second type he says is shaving the head from the sides so that the hair is only in the center third type is shaving from the head from the center so hair is only on both the sides the fourth is shaving the head from the front and keeping the head behind there are various types of qaza but all the fuqahs all the scholars they say that qaza is prohibited unless it is imitating the kafir or the evil doers so in terms of haircuts which are haram is if you imitate the kafir and kuffar you have no people 
you know, imitating the evil doers, the punk, the dyeing the hair and keeping only in the center. This is haram. Or imitating the kuffar, the kafir, or maybe a sports man or a football player. All this is haram. As far as keeping long hair is concerned, there are various hadith saying that the length of the hair of the Prophet it reached the earlobe. Another hadith says it reached the shoulder. One hadith says it was in between the ear and the shoulder. Keeping long hair is permissible, but see to it that it should not resemble that of the opposite sex. One of my friend, he had young children, he had young sons, and because they were young, one son was about seven years old, and his features were also quite feminish, but his hair was long. So when he came to shake hands with me, I, I was taken aback. And later on, when I realized he was a boy, I shook hands. All his three children had long hair. And when they came to the mosque, the Imam said, what are you doing here? You go to the women's section. Imagine your son being told in the mosque, go to the women's section. What, what psychological damage will that person have? So it is wrong to keep your son's hair long so that they look like women, they look like girls. It is totally wrong. And imagine if someone, if the Imam of the mosque is thinking he is a girl, and telling him to go in the woman section. It's a shame. So therefore see to it that don't make your children dress up like opposite sex or have long hair. Okay, when they have beard and they have got masculine features and then if you keep long hair, it is very evident that the person is a, is a gentleman, no problem. But young children, four years old, five years old, seven years old, eight years old, dressing up with the, with the dress you cannot come to know whether it's a male or a female and then they have long hair and with the voice you cannot come to know because it's not developed it, this should not be done see to it that they don't resemble the kafir number one they don't resemble the evil doers and number three they don't resemble the opposite sex as long as you take care of this then it is not haram if you do kaza it is makhru don't do that also all the other hairstyle then it comes in the MUBA category. Hope that answers the question. We have run out of time and we end the program here. Till we meet, inshallah, next Saturday, I would like to wish all of you Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa akhru dawan alhamdulillah rabbil alameen.